Hey, welcome to the video. Thanks for clicking on this one. It's good. You're going to get a lot of uh, useful information out of this uh, as it pertains to what will come out for the week and just a few very important details. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to start with, I got a list. We'll get to the content specific as defined by the title very soon. This is content based. I wanted to talk about the podcast. I do a podcast. Did you know that? Uh, it's available on Spotify, it's available on iTunes, it's available on all the places you would expect to find a podcast, but it is as well its own dedicated channel. I did that because I didn't want a conflict between this super long form content showing up on a channel that's more shorter form videos, let's say whether I'm doing something between uh, 2 minutes to 30 minutes here, but it wouldn't be the same thing, so it's dedicated there and I'm much more active on that now. I will be, it's gonna be either weekly or bi-weekly that I'm getting at episodes up there. If I can get enough content, it'll be bi-weekly. And I'll put all the, I'll, we, I will have already put down information below about my Instagram, my website, the Patreon, all these things. So hopefully you can find it obviously there. It's called the Interstice Podcast. It'll be down in the description. Uh, if you're keen on that long form podcast style, you can find it. I'm doing it, and it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, the, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about, we got, we, we've gone through the podcast now. Uh, so the next thing would be the website. So you may or may not be aware that I have a website. Now, the way that the website works right now is that you can get additional content there in the form of I have a journal. And I'm always, I'm writing on, like, now that I'm going hard week to week, it's usually some reflection on the week or a project that we're working on in the course of the week or just some sort of like philosophical rambling. But if you like to read, that's, uh, that's a cool place to go. You can check it out. And then in pretty short order, I will as well there have merch. Now, the merch shop is active currently, but it's limited compared to what it should be. I've just finished a new round of designs with uh, awesome graphic designer Caden Ostermiller. I'm actually going to be helping Caden... Uh, launch his YouTube channel very soon. He's like, he's into basically cocktails and mixology and we're gonna like work on doing these like really cool mix between cinematic and sort of personal presentation on how you might make these. And it's it's a really cool project. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But he is uh, integral to the designs that have gone into the merch store and those will be going up soon. But for the time being, if you wanna just get a little further inside the head, read something, uh, get some reflections on Japan, then the website is a great place to go. I am posting at least to the journal once a week there. If I can spin all of this up, it, it'll increase from there, but at least once a week uh, for you to be able to check that out. So now, moving on to the content release schedule for the week, which is kind of the essence of this video. There's going to be two this week. If I can uh, really put my feet to the fire, I'll explain that detail. First of all, I've been talking a lot on this channel and on the podcast about how one of the huge things from this summer was that I was working with a team here to go down to South Japan and we were going to film this wakeboard tournament. Now, the result of that was that we got a ton of footage and we did so in a team effort. So if you want an example of some of the team effort stuff, you need to look no further than the last video that got posted about the e-boards where we had our drone pilot there. We had Drew who was like uh, going to go pro at snowboarding at one point. He's riding the e-board. Uh, we had our other cinematographer friend out there who was providing us with like the uh, the 360 camera that we got cool shots with. Uh, we we were doing a bunch of stuff. I was like on the I had the gimbal going riding on riding a bike, so we got cool shots too. That was a group project, and then this next one that's going to go up is another group project, and it's again we got our we got a man in the air, we got a guy in the back of the boat, and then we got me editing and doing the best I can to really fill you with shivers of excitement as it relates to these kind of water sports. When I was younger, I used to wakeboard. It is crazy now, like seeing these people in the skill level they have. It's, it's nuts. And at this tournament, there's this great spread. It was slalom ski. It was uh, ski tricks. It was ski jump. It was wakeboarding. All of these things. I created a three minute edit. That's going to be going up midweek. And it's very much like what's not to like the the sick skill that these athletes have and when you get this many people together to film something yields a really really cool result we're very very proud of what was created and so that will be available for you you know that it's coming now since you watched this video thank you again for clicking on it uh the next one that'll go up is this video 
called, I don't know the exact name, where it was filmed is what I can talk about. So each fall in Japan, in this area in Kansai, there is a region called Nara. It's actually where the original, original capital was. People say, oh, it was Kyoto. It was actually Nara before it was Kyoto. And in this place, they have this cool event that they put on called the Mine Trail, and it's in three locations usually. And in each location, there is an area through which you can hike, very, very beautiful at that time of year. And along the trail, all these contributing artists have offered their work. And it's in this beautiful, it's art in nature, very, very, very unique. And I had gone there, we'd filmed that, beautiful colors. We had at first put music to the edit and I thought, yeah, this is good. But now I want to actually do a script for this. And I'm not sure yet what the reflection will be on. That'll probably then lead to the title of the video. But that will be the second piece of content this week. So there'll be the... First there will be the wakeboard awesomeness. Check this out. Look at these sweet moves. 540s. All this good stuff. 1080 snowboarding. Great game on the 64. Uh, and then it will follow up something more naturalistic, more beautiful, written, scripted, kind of like reflective kind of thing. Uh, which should be very good. Having gone over those details, these were the most important things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, next to that is also to say that I really, really appreciate, there's been, of course, since I've done more on the channel recently, there's been way more engagement, uh, way more people like, ah, oh, that's interesting, this is my thought, here's my opinion, oh, I like that, good stuff, whatever it is. So whether you're commenting or you're liking or you're subscribing, this is me trying to make a more genuine appeal to that hit smash the subscribe button or whatever that when you're in this kind of limbo of a channel as mine is where it's not it's not small it's very small but it's not big that this really really matters this is like so far infinitely removed from a too big to fail guaranteed success it's not in many ways the channel is very very similar just barely different from a channel that had 1000 subscribers where your engagement and the people who are supporting you really, really, really matter. Um, my goal is not to reach something like, you know, several million subscribers. It is to make the channel sustainable. And for that, I would love to do quality over quantity. And that means from the beginning that every single individual who actually really, really likes this is making a big impact on it. I don't expect it to have explosive huge views. What I expect from how I want to design everything is that people who are engaging with it really, really like it. And this, this is for them. It's not for some huge mass audience. Cool if it does, but really it's, it's for this more of a niche kind of group of people who like this kind of thing. And what most contributes to that is if you are able to support me on Patreon, because then we can detach ourselves from any, it's like anti-algorithm. You don't need the algorithm at all because you just have the audience supporting you that has found this, that really, really cares. And you can do so on my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. And if we got, let's say we got a thousand people to do that, suddenly this is a sustainable channel with this kind of content. That's the way to do it. And so I always like to let people know because a lot of people want to support you. They just don't even know how they can do it. So that is how this kind of content gets made. That's how you can support me the best. I really appreciate it. Am I through my checklist? Yes, I'm through my checklist. It was the, let's just recap one more time. We've got the podcast. We got the website. We got the wakeboard video. We've got this cool art mind trail video. And then yes, if you want to support, the best way you can is over there on Patreon. Thanks very much. Hug the ones you love. I hope wherever you are, you get to enjoy some kind of beautiful fall weather. Much as it is uh, like that in Kyoto right now, it's incredible. I'll catch you in the next video, the wakeboard video. For now, that's it.